From burgers to cheesesteaks to chicken fried steaks, some of the best places to eat in our great state, plus a hot spot to shop and where to take a trip back in time. Travel with Triple A's Discover Oklahoma. Hi and welcome to Triple A's Discover Oklahoma. I'm Jennifer Reynolds. And I'm Dean O'Lawley. Today we're coming to you from the Oklahoma City Zoo, specifically one of their newest exhibits is Stingray Bay. And I just found out, I love statistics, <laughs> there's 16,000 gallons of salt water in this tank. Okay, forget the statistics. I'm going to tell you the fun part is you get to reach right down into this pool and make a personal acquaintance with one of the most beautiful and graceful creatures in nature. So we hope you'll check it out. But before we have any more on that, we're going to take you to one of the most fun, most well-known Main Street restaurants in our state. Quinn Tran pulls up a chair. Step inside this downtown Noble restaurant. Y'all enjoy, nice meeting you. If it's lunchtime or dinner time, Tuesday through Saturday, Kendall's restaurant is packed. We seat about 150 to 160 people. We can cram a few more in if we need to. On this day for lunch, just about every booth, table and chair were taken by noon at the 6,500 square foot restaurant. It's a lot of walking, a lot of steps from one end to the other. Dee Downer and Kim Locke are owners of Kendall's. Kim's mother opened the restaurant 27 years ago, naming it after Kim's daughter, Kendall. Over the years, Kendall's restaurant has become a dining destination. Chicken fried steak because it is the best thing that they have here. It's very good. And cinnamon rolls, you gotta have the cinnamon rolls. You're gonna expect stuff like your grandmother would have made, you know, chicken fried steak, meatloaf, roast beef with mashed potatoes. We cook our green beans just exactly like your grandmother would have made them, you know, long and slow and, and warm biscuits and we have desserts every day, but we have our cinnamon rolls every single day with every single meal. People from all over the world have visited the restaurant to get a taste of Oklahoma and to see the more than 500 hanging memorabilia featuring Oklahoma and its famous people. We try and give people a, a history lesson just by, a, you know, looking at the walls and, you know, going, wow, you know, they're from here and they're from here. Can't believe there's so many musicians that are from Oklahoma. And but what really wows people here is the food. Everything on the menu is made from scratch and every meal comes with a free cinnamon roll. We have people come from other countries, you know, people, especially from OU, they'll always bring other people down because they say, this is Oklahoma food. This is Oklahoma. That, that makes us really proud, really proud to be um, known as that. Mm -hmm. My mom instilled this. We have a slogan that says, Kendall's is where everybody is family. We really do mean that. The relationships are as important to us as anything else. And I think that carries through. You've got to love it. You've got to love watching people grow up and grow old and they grow with you and it's special. Besides the great hospitality, Kendall's restaurant is also known for this, the chicken fry challenge. Check it out. Eat all of this in one hour. Wow, the size of this chicken fried steak is bigger than me. And we've had many, many people try it, uh, thinking that it that really doesn't look like very much on a picture. And then you set it down in front of them, they have a whole new respect for it, so. So who's willing to eat this much? Chicken fried steak has already been had. <laughs> oh, good gravy, no, I don't, I can't eat that. You can't eat that much. These regulars have the chicken fried steak sized up. But this is what, you call, what they call a light portion. The couple prefer their gravy on the side. I just like it that way, and another is that we take some home for tonight, and you don't want the gravy sitting on top of the meat all afternoon. I mean, we've got it figured out to a fine <laughs> art. <laughs> so have thousands of other regulars. The food at Kendall's is served up made to order. It's comfort food cooked from scratch, fixed the old-fashioned way. We cook with a lot of love and a lot of butter. We only charge for the butter, though. The love is free. <laughs> 
along with a chicken fried steak as big as your head, Dino Lolly says. They have about the best cinnamon rolls ever. Absolutely. Is that right? Okay. But remember, Kindles does not take credit or debit cards, so bring cold, hard cash. You can find out more about the chicken fried steak challenge on our website, travelok.com. Look for the Discover Oklahoma section. We're here at Stingray Bay at the Oklahoma City Zoo. As you can tell, it's feeding time. If you haven't been here, you need to check this place out. It's a lot of fun. Of course, the Oklahoma City Zoo is one of the most popular attractions here in Oklahoma. Once you do come here and have a great time, you may want to consider heading on west down I-40 and check out the Territorial Museum, Canadian County, there in El Reno. What's so cool about that phonograph is no electricity was required. Uh, it was powered by cranking it up, and then as it ran down, you'd crank it again. And then uh, and all the records go neatly inside it. It's just kind of a cool thing. The Canadian County Historical Museum is full of cool things. It's a place where you can relive, examine, and learn. Simply put, there's a lot here to enjoy. We call it our compound. And what's cool about it is, most of the buildings, like the old depot that was originally here. The other buildings, though, you see the Red Cross Canteen outside. Now, that was the first canteen in the state of Oklahoma, and the troop trains would come through. So it was here. The early day history of the land run can be found here, as well as the original stone, the 98th Meridian, where much about the land run was decided. From the Possum Hollow Schoolhouse to the Menville Mennonite Church, there's a little something for everybody. This building is so awesome because it was the old depot, but what's neat about it is like the benches that we're standing here by, they were here. Then we have all the early day history of the land run, it's all here. And then we have tons of like the early day churches, all the history on Fort Reno. We have an awesome Native American collection. And what I think so cool is the minute you walk in, what do you see is that big old buffalo and then that big old longhorn steer that was on the Chisholm Trail. And all that is just in the first room alone. As you move through the museum, there's a business section where you'll find fascinating exhibits from an early day dentist and doctor's office to a vintage kitchen area. We have an awesome research area, a room that everything about Canadian County and then some, we have it, but you can do your research right here. We have all the roles of the Indians and Native Americans that were here. And then if you signed on to uh, doing the land run, we have all that type of stuff. So there's someone constantly coming in to do that. And as you continue to explore, you'll find in the very back room, the original Western Union office. If you needed to send out a message, that's where you would go. They also use that room for storing all the luggage and baggage. Now the executives of the museum also turned this area into a railroad room and it's complete with a tiny train running around the top. And it's just not all for kids either. Every time I go back there when all of our guys are here, it's all the guys that are back there watching the train go around, not the little kids. So anyway, life does go on for those old railroaders, believe you me. El Reno was indeed a railroad town, so you can't forget their restored 1928 trolley that everyone can enjoy. But much like the phonograph player, it'll have that wow factor for the kids. Because nowadays you think, oh, with the iPad and all the fancy stuff, that's not going to wow them, but it does. They love it. You can find out more information on this museum and dozens of others in our great state at TravelOK.com. The great thing about the Oklahoma City Zoo, besides the animals, of course, is that it's just right here smack in the middle of our state. And so you can get anywhere right from here. I'm Jason Grubbs right outside of downtown Tulsa, Oklahoma. We are cooking up some Philly cheese steaks with a side order of music history. Up next, we're headed to green country to sample fat fillies and a shopper's paradise right off I-35, the pit stop you've got to make if you're in the market for something unique. It's all ahead right here on AAA's Discover Oklahoma. On the road, one never knows what lies ahead. Indubitably, almost every week, one encounters bad form from Sunday drivers. Sheer rudeness begets the occasional fender bender. Precisely why we have insurance from AAA. Hear, hear. A name drivers can trust. Especially good ones. Especially great ones. Cheers! Oklahoma every night, my honey, let me die. Sit alone and talk and watch a hall breaking lazy circles in the sky. 
We know we belong to the land. And the land we belong to is red. And when we say, Yeah! Honey, honey, yeah! We know we belong to the land. And the land we belong to is red. And when we say, Yeah! We're only saying you're doing fine, Oklahoma. Oklahoma! Oklahoma, come see for yourself. It's just frozen rain. Can we just please pull over? There's gonna be dents all over the car. What are we, storm chasers? This is insane. Until there's a climate control knob that actually controls the climate. See, thank you for agreeing with me. There's the next best thing, insurance from AAA. Welcome back to AAA's Discover Oklahoma. We just watched him finish feeding the uh, stingrays and now we're helping him feed the giraffes. I think everyone is hungry. Everybody and around here needs a, needs a meal. Absolutely, and speaking of food, the newest member of our crew actually is looking for some good eats. <laughs> Jason Grubbs is in Tulsa to give us a preview of more than just the food at Fat Billy's. We first opened about four blocks away at uh, 11th in Detroit in a little building about a third this size. That was in 2005. Today, you'll find Fat Philly's cheesesteaks being grilled up right outside of downtown Tulsa. Owner Jason Smith says his new location seats about 100 hungry customers, and you'll find it nearly full nearly every day. I've always loved Philly cheesesteaks. It's Jason's passion, although his degree is in psychology. Before opening, he traveled the country in search of the perfect cheesesteak recipe. And I went to Philly and studied them down for about a week. I ate about 100 Philly cheese steaks, I think, during that week. His search resulted in this, the Fat Philly's classic steak with onions, bell peppers, a lot of cheese, and one very special ingredient. What makes our specials, we put a little more love into it, I think. Jeremy Faulkner's been stopping in about once a month since they opened, ordering pretty much the same thing every time. The uh, seven inch fat with provolone instead of the cheddar seven inches or 11 inches. They're made fresh with whatever you can come up with. We're gonna mix the meat with the onions and the bell peppers and mushrooms, jalapenos if you want them, all black olives, egg, sausage, chili, whatever. We're gonna put it all in, we're gonna mix it around and, and kind of blend it together and, and make it one. Make it become like a marriage. <laughs> I decided to try my own hand at that marriage, stepping into the kitchen to whip up a classic fat filly for lunch. Hey, Jason's coming for your guy's job over here, fellas. You better watch out. Make him my own cheese. Add a little cheese on the bread, throw it on the grill, flip it over, add a little more cheese, and voila. That's not Man, bad looking. Stuff. Isn't that great? Regan might get on to you a little <laughs> bit about this one. I think it's OK. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You gotta eat it though. <laughs> <laughs> Mine tasted great, and by the looks of it, so did the one Corey Roberts ordered. Are you ready? <laughs> we picked the guy with the biggest mouth. That's good. How was it, dude? Corey also topped his meal off with a side order of chili cheese tots. I mean, if you're gonna have this, you might as well have chili cheese tots. I mean. <laughs> This location hasn't always been a restaurant. For decades, it was a music store called Strings West. This was the place for musicians, big and small. The original owner wrote down every famous artist that walked through the door to buy an instrument or amp. Some just needed repairs. Weird Al Yankovic is over there from like 1982 or something when he rolled through here, and he's still playing these days. I don't know, that's kind of trips me out a little bit. But. The tradition continues with recent autographs from actress Juliette Lewis and author Essie Hinton. She wrote Stay Gold on the uh, wall over there. You don't have to be famous to end up on the wall here. All it takes is a really big appetite, but you only have two hours. If you eat four or more, you get your picture on the wall. And then if you break the record, you get $100 and your picture on the wall. And uh, however many fillies you ate, you get a coupon for that many free, which no one ever comes back to use them after they eat nine fillies or whatever it is. I ate five. Easily. No, not easily, but I wasn't hurting too bad, but six would have hurt me. In Tulsa, I'm Jason Grubbs for Discover Oklahoma. Everything you want to know about fat fillies is on our website, travelok.com. Just click on Discover Oklahoma. Of course, a trip to the zoo is fun for the old and new alike. 
I guess I don't know whether I'm the old or the new, but I'm having a great time. <laughs> but if it's a trip for the girls you're looking for, we've got just the ticket on that, too. A peek at what's up in downtown Ardmore when we continue on AAA's Discover Oklahoma. Great travel tips anytime. Like Discover Oklahoma on Facebook and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. I was sitting behind an SUV at a red stoplight and I guess the light wasn't turning green, green fast enough for her so she puts her SUV in reverse and backs right into my new car. I'd called her insurance several times and they had never heard of her. We recommended that she go ahead and turn the claim in to AAA so that AAA claims adjusters could take care of her. I paid my $500 deductible to get my car fixed and I didn't ever expect to see that money again. I didn't want her to have to be out $500 because it wasn't her fault. So that was the only question. A lot of times if there is no insurance coverage, it's hard to get the other party to pay up. Two months later, I had a check in the mail from AAA for my $500. So when I had given up on it, they were still fighting to get my money back for me. She said, guess what? I got a check in the mail. That was a good feeling for her and it made me feel good too. They've really shown me that if I ever have a problem that they're gonna, they're gonna help me fix it. Welcome back to AAA's Discover Oklahoma, still here at the Oklahoma City Zoo and uh, at the new fabulous elephant exhibit. And once again, everybody's eating. Well, where can you go to find everything from a fabulous 20th century relic to the latest fashion trends, from antiques to boutiques? Tina McGarry takes us south to Main Street Ardmore. It is nothing short of picturesque. Quaint shops with pretty storefronts line Main Street Ardmore. It's a small town with a big shopping experience. Ardmore has really undergone a revitalization downtown with new restaurants and new retail and it is an exciting place to shop and come have fun. The downtown boasts variety. There is something for everyone with a unique collection of specialty shops, boutiques and antiques. There's jewelry, there's uh, glassware, there's old china, so lamps, anything you want. There are pieces from around the world inside Ardmore Emporium and just about every piece has a story. This family were missionaries they had a hospital in Bangkok, and so much of these things came from that era in the 50s, and from China, from Bangkok, from uh, Korea. Shoes, clothing, um, accessories, there's a lot, um, a lot packed in this small space. Boutique Bella offers one-of-a-kind gifts, accessories, home decor, and furniture. Owner Samantha Crook is thrilled to be a part of what's going on in downtown. I love the development, I love the people, I love what's going on here. Um, it's really exciting for all of us. Whether you're looking for the latest trend or a piece from the past, chances are you'll find it on Main Street. And it's that promise that keeps customers coming back from near and far. The older people that come from Nebraska, uh, Wisconsin, Wyoming, Colorado are going through to the south. As you know, a lot of people call them snowbirds. Right but they have gotten to where we have yearly shoppers that come in here every year that can't wait to come back. And now by word of mouth, it has just, it's, it's just gone all over the country. So it's just amazing. Your guide to everything Ardmore is as close as our website, travelok.com. Just search the city for a list of restaurants, shops, and everything else. But no matter where you go in Oklahoma, there's one thing everybody seems to comment on. Of course, that's our very friendly people. An old-fashioned friendly spot with some of the best burgers and onion rings around. Find out where we're headed next on AAA's Discover Oklahoma. He's been our insurance agent for the last six years, uh, but the year before that, he was the best man at my wedding. Asked him if I could quote his auto insurance, to which he said yes, but you're going to have to beat the company I've been with for forever in order to get it. I didn't think uh, they'd be able to. So I, I took the opportunity to quote it, and I, and I was able to save him about $600 a year. Man, I was just like, boom shakalaka, like, are you kidding me? He actually said that on the phone, boom shakalaka. You know, saving money with AAA means food on the table for my family. Even after he saved us tons of money, he's looked at our policy over the years and, and helped us make changes to save even more money without us asking. We offer the best of both worlds. Um, we have uh, great cu customer satisfaction through the level of service that we provide uh, and combined with an amazingly low rate. You know, as a parent, as a husband, having insurance, 
uh, is a safety net because life happens. I know that AAA is gonna take care of us. I don't have to worry about it. AAA is gonna be there, Levi's gonna be there. They're gonna take care of our needs. So we're here to drive some cars today. It's a competitive comparison, and may the best car win. We're off, Fiesta's on a roll. On the Verso, we squealed a little bit going around some of the corners. Sorry, Fit, you need to step your game up. I feel the eco boost with the Fiesta. I didn't expect that kind of mileage off of a non-hybrid car. Call Bernardo. Calling Bernardo. Nice. Ford stepped it up big time. Come see for yourself during the EcoBoost Challenge and get a Ford Fiesta with 0% financing for 60 months or get 1,000 challenge cash. Visit your Ford dealer. Welcome back. AAA Oklahoma is a proud sponsor of our show and we're happy to have them. Here's a look at today's AAA. Hi, Chuck May here with AAA Oklahoma. Watching your teenager get behind the wheel can be pretty scary. With so many dangers on the road, how do you know if they're ready? At AAA, we get how stressful this can be. So we've created a full range of tools to help you through the learning to drive process. First, sign up for our free Start Smart newsletters to teach you and your teen how to reduce risk by working together. Next, check out Take the Wheel, our affordable parent-taught driver's education program that provides everything you need to teach your teen how to drive. Plus, it's certified by Oklahoma, so your teen can get that license earlier. If your teen's already driving, our driver safety program, Teen Smart, can make them three times safer on the road. In fact, it's worked so well, we offer up to a 25% savings on their AAA auto insurance for successful completion. Find out more under teen and mature driver safety in the AAA news and safety section of AAA.com. AAA for the ones who matter most to you. We've got a great shot right now of the new little elephant baby here at the Oklahoma City <laughs> Zoo. She is so cute, mm -hmm. and uh, I don't think she's going anywhere at the moment, but you may be because road trip season is right around the corner. Spring and summer are very popular for road trips, and if one of yours happens to take you east on I-40, maybe the Muskogee Turnpike, I'm going to tell you about one spot you really need to try and stop there, and I'm going to tell you about it now. It's in Weber Falls, and it's called the Burger Barn. Sandy Swearingen has owned the Burger Barn for 36 years and it is a family run operation to say the least. My sister-in-law works with me, my daughter works with me, my granddaughters work with me. I have a cousin that helps me out. It's just, uh, yeah, we're, it's all family that work for me. It, it's all family and we don't change help often. They've been with me for years. My sister-in-law's been with me for 33 years. My daughter grew up here, you know. My grandkids grew up, grew up here. My great-grandkids are growing up here. The Burger Barn is one of those places where everyone knows your name. She has a rather large customer base and they've been coming back for those 36 years. So what is the secret? I try to give out good food and, and keep it clean and be friendly. And it's hometown, this is home. People are very much at home when they walk in here. They mouth the waitress, they mouth us. I mean, they just, it's just home. And obviously the people who come here do feel very comfortable, just like home. Whether it's the day's special, like meatloaf for example, or the mainstay, which is a burger, you can always depend on consistently good food and lively, friendly conversation. The Burger Barn is known for all that, and you can't forget their very popular onion rings. They are so good, in fact, that they can bring tears to your eyes. Well, kind of. Yes. Yes. And we do cry over them because sometimes they're very hard when we have to peel them. They're homemade, totally homemade. I mean, uh, well, I guess we have our secret ingredient. It's something that they wouldn't think of us using that we use. But yes, I have my regulars. What, what we have is, since I've 40 has gone in and you've got, uh, you've got the interstate, you know, they're gonna go to the places they know, like Love's and Burger King and that, but we are known by a lot of people. I like the fishermen, you know, we have a lot of fishermen and, and we just have a lot of people who just uh, get out and drive and they've just found us and, and they come from everywhere. They hear about the onion rings too. When I asked Sandy what makes their burger so good, her answer surprised me. It, well, I, I don't know, I'm sorry. It's, it's just a burger. <laughs> there is no special ingredient to that one, I don't know. Maybe there is a special ingredient, one that a person can't measure in the traditional way. Maybe, just possibly, that extra something is the manner in which not only burgers, but everything is made here with love, kindness, and a willingness to make you feel comfortable, to feel like you're at home. 
wherever you're headed in Oklahoma, I promise you we can help you find some of the best places to eat. That's right, it's simple. Just order one of these. It's the Discover Oklahoma Dining Guide. All you have to do is go to TravelOK.com and click on Order Free Brochure. A big thanks to May Lee and all the folks here at the Oklahoma City Zoo for hosting us this week. All right, coming up next week on AAA's Discover Oklahoma. Another great place to stop for a bite to eat. Find out what they are serving up at Soda Steve's. Plus one of my favorite places to visit, the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum for a taste of the West right here on Discover Oklahoma next Saturday night. So until next time, remember, there's always something to discover in Oklahoma. Production vehicle provided by the Oklahoma Ford Dealers, official partner of the Oklahoma Tourism and Recreation Department.